Hi, this is Al at Help for Android, and I'm here to explain to you how to use an Android tablet running the Honeycomb or version 3.0 operating system. There is a new version of the operating system called Ice Cream Sandwich version 4.0 that will be coming out shortly, but this version of the operating system and some of the items I will be showing you will also be available on the new version of the operating system. So to begin, I want to describe to you some of the buttons that you will see um, on your desktop of your tablet at almost all times. We'll start down in the lower left-hand corner where you have three buttons from left to right. There is the back button, the home button, and what's called the application switcher button. The home button is one of the most commonly used buttons. What it does is it allows you to get quickly back to your main screen on your tablet. Now on your app, there's actually five windows available that you can see. The main window is the one in the center that you see here. This uh, window in the center of the five is the one where, that you will be going to the most frequently. Um, it's probably where you want to store the shortcuts to your major applications and widgets that you're going to use most often. So for example, if I go over to the far left hand window and I hit the home button, it immediately takes me again back to the center main window. Also, if you're in another application and you want to get back to your main screen, so for example, let's say that I'm on a browser, and then I want to get back to my main screen. I hit the home button and it takes me back. If I go to my applications drawer and hit the home button, again it takes me back to the main screen. Now there's also a back button on the left hand side, lower left hand corner here. The back button basically takes you to whatever previous screen you were at. So for example, if I start the browser and I start searching for something like puppy pictures. Let's go ahead and do a quick Google search. And there we have puppy pictures. If I use the home button, it'll again take me back to that center desktop screen. However, if I use the back button, it will basically go to the previous screen that I was at just a moment ago. So it'll go from this um, web page that has puppy pictures, it'll go back to the Google search and then if I hit back again since it was, um, I was at the main desktop at that time it'll take me back to the main desktop so just think of the back button as something like go to the previous screen the third button on the lower left hand corner is the app switcher and what the app switcher does is it keeps track of all the applications you've been running on your tablet and allows you to quickly go back to something that you were previously working on. So for example, if I want, was working on Gmail just a little bit ago, I can tap on the Gmail and it'll take me back to Gmail. If I want to go uh, back to uh, the browser that I was just at, it'll take me to the browser. So that's a quick way to uh, move between uh, the things you've been doing and get, uh, if you want to like cut and paste something between applications, that's a quick way to be able to move data between two different applications. In the upper right hand corner there is a button that says apps and this apps button will take you to your app drawer that will show all of the applications that you currently have loaded on your tablet. There's two tabs here, there's the all tab and the my apps tab. The my apps tab shows you all the applications that you've downloaded from the Android market. The All tab shows all applications that were installed on the tablet, which includes some pre-loaded applications that were installed uh, uh, and system applications. For example, like Google Maps or Google Navigation. This also allows you to go to the Shop button, which will take you to the Android market. We're not going to worry about that right now. I'll discuss that later. Now, going back to the main screen again, um, I want to show you to move between the desktop. You can basically move side to side just by scrolling your finger across. There's also a quick way. If you'll notice, there's little blue 
shadow uh, um, lines on the sides here. If you tap on the sides, it will basically move you between the screens quickly so that you don't need to use the side to side motion. You can just tap on the edges. This also works uh, when you're in some of the other screens, but not necessarily all screens. Now, another important area on the main desktop is in the lower right hand corner. This is called the notification area. The notification area you can get to by tapping on the clock and it will show you important system information such as um, your battery level, what wireless network you're connected to, and other important information the system thinks you should know. For example, there was an application that we had loaded that was updated uh, by the Google Market called Explorer in the lower right hand corner. You can close any one of these notifications by tapping on the little X box on the right hand side little X to close that notification once you've read it. You can also in the notification area quickly get to some common settings by tapping these little bars on the uh, right hand side. You can adjust things like if you want to go into airplane mode, turn on and off the Wi-Fi, um, adjust your uh, screen brightness and so on. It will also allow you to get to your uh, tablet settings fairly quickly. Going back to the notification area, one of the other quick or nice features is that if you have a memory card installed, which this tablet has a 32 gig, 32 gig memory card installed, it'll allow you to quickly get to a folder uh, browser so that you can look at the files that are stored on that memory card. If you tap on this little folder icon here, it'll show you uh, a browser to allow you to search through the files that you have stored on that memory card. We'll go back to the main screen. Um, this is also in the notification area where you'll get notifications of, for example, if you receive emails or gmails. Um, this is also where you'll see that sort of information. Nextly, um, I wanted to show you how to uh, set the wallpaper on the tablet. To set the wallpaper, one thing that uh, is common throughout the um, Android operating system is if you do a um, tap and hold on any one uh, item or thing on your tablet, it will sometimes give you a um, auxiliary menu or take you to additional features. So for example, if I find an open area on the desktop and just tap and hold, it will give me a um, menu for doing things that are common for that desktop. For example, it will allow me to set the wallpaper to a different uh, pattern. So for example, if I tap on the wallpaper, I can change the wallpaper in the background. I'll change it back to what it was at just a moment ago. You can also with the wallpaper you have the capability of going to picture gallery so if you loaded or downloaded pictures off the web you can go and look at some of those pictures and set your wallpaper based off of that you also have what are called live wallpapers and live wallpapers are basically active wallpapers that are very attractive and add a really nice feature to the Android tablet but one uh, minus of using live wallpapers is that they will use up the battery more frequently or um, it will use up the battery faster because it's actually changing the graphics so for example one of the ones that the Asus tablet comes with is a battery level indication that is floating ice cubes and if I set my wallpaper to that you can see what the battery level is based off of the water level um, but like you can see, this is a, a ch constantly changing the wallpaper in the background, so it will use your battery a little bit faster than if you use a static wallpaper. We're going to go and change back to a static wallpaper for now. Next, I wanted to show you how to put application shortcuts onto your desktop. If we go, there are more, there's more than one way to do this. Um, one of the most frequent ways, though, is to go to your app drawer again by tapping in the upper right-hand corner. 
and looking at various applications that you have stored in your tablet. Now one of the most frequent ones that you might want to have access to, for example, is setting the, or, uh, the application for adjusting the settings on the tablet. So we will look for that um, application. Um, it's the settings icon up here in the right hand corner. This, um, by pressing and holding that icon for that uh, settings application, you can tell the tablet where you want to drop it and you can say which of the desktops you want to drop it to. We'll put it onto our main desktop. And now if we tap on that window, you can see the settings icon has been dropped onto that um, main desktop. And if you tap on it, it'll bring up your settings application. So you can adjust the different settings on the tablet. If you want to delete a shortcut that you've dropped onto your desktop, you can press and hold it and then bring it into the upper right hand corner. You'll notice that the applications um, button in the upper right hand corner will change to a trash can. If you hold the icon and bring it over to the trash can, it will delete it from the desktop. Note that it does not delete the application itself, it's only deleting the shortcut that you have placed on the desktop. Again, let's go back to the applications drawer and we will go to we'll, again we will drop the settings icon back onto a desktop you just press and hold determine which desktop you want to drop it on and then you uh, can get to it quickly that way if you want to move the icon anywhere onto your desktop other than when you init where you initially dropped it at if you press and hold it you can move it and drop it uh, somewhere else on your desktop. You can also move it to a different desktop as you as I had mentioned before you will see blue bars appear on the right hand side of uh, the tablet. You can if you drag that icon over into one of those blue bar areas it will actually move it over, move the screen over to one of the other desktops and then you can drop the icon there. So uh, we will drop the shortcut to settings in the upper right hand corner over here and that will be it for right now I will continue uh, my tutorials we will discuss how to use the browser and how to set up a wireless connection in my next tutorial